Good morning. Welcome to At Dawn with Pastor Larry. Today we're going to start our journey, a, a rather lengthy journey, through the Gospel of Mark. Our series is called Seeing Jesus in the Gospel of Mark. So we're going to take this bite by bite all the way through. And today, very quickly, we'll hit some initial texts. At the beginning of, uh, of, of uh, Mark, it says, The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets. Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Then all the land of Judea, those from Jerusalem, went out to him and were ba all baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. And so here's the beginning of the gospel. It just leaps straight into the action. It's got a couple of quotes here that are very important from Isaiah and Malachi. But what might be an important text to begin with here is found in the prophecy of Daniel, chapter 9. And it talks there in Daniel 9, verse 24, of a period, and we're not going to plow into this here, but there's a period of 490 years, a period that God allotted to the Jewish people to finish the work that he wanted to do with the Jewish people. And let me just read you what their mission was before Jesus came. Here's what their mission is. Seventy weeks are determined, cut off for your people and for your holy city, to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. That's quite a mission there, and they had 490 years to accomplish it, and Jesus comes in the last seven years of that 490 years. So that's Daniel 9.24. Uh, and so the beginning of the gospel, this is the conclusion. This is when these things should have been fulfilled. We want to read Mark knowing that this is what should have happened, although it really didn't quite happen. So let's look at, at uh, if you look at Malachi chapter 3, here's what it says at verse 1, Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? He is like a refiner's fire and like a launderer's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. So this meshes with what Daniel 9.24 says. The, the people of the Hebrew nation were due to finish sorting things out, but they had, had gone downhill instead of uphill. That's what happens when Jesus comes now. He comes and they're not ready. So when we read the Gospel of Mark, these are things that should have been in order, but Jesus comes to bring in everlasting righteousness. The other text that's quite interesting, the book of Isaiah, and it might sound familiar to you, comfort, comfort my people, Isaiah 40 verse 1 says the Lord, speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, her iniquity is pardoned, she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Verse 3, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert the highway for our God, and so on. So. This is the coming of Messiah. He comes to his people. Hopefully everything is, hey, everything's in order, but it's not in order. It's worse than uh, that. It's, it's degenerated. It's corrupted to come to full corruption. So that's uh, the beginning of the gospel. Mark, it says the beginning of the gospel, that's the beginning of good news. But unfortunately, when Jesus comes, they're not ready. But there's a message in there for us. We want to be ready. When he comes. Now, many went out. Many were very pleased by the message of Jesus, and they were, uh, there was a fantastic response, and we'll see that as we continue on. But this kind of sets the tone here. Great possibilities, and yet very sadly, uh, not, not achieved. But anyway, we'll get into the Gospel of Mark, and we'll see Jesus working through it anyway. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your great mercies. Help us to be ready when you come to us. Help us to be completely on the team. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Please uh, stand by, read through the Gospel of Mark. I've read through the whole Gospel today. It takes a little bit more than an hour, and uh, but we're going to go through it verse by verse. It's going to be a great blessing as we're going to be seeing Jesus in the Gospel of Mark. Have a wonderful day.